Hi everybody, this is Aaron from the Sibling Rivalry Channel, now known as Afternoons and Coffee Spoons. This is Roger Bowie, my chihuahua. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to assemble a tensioning idler mechanism for the Voron Trident. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get started with the assembly. The parts that you're gonna need for this of course are the printed parts and because we're building two tensioners you're going to need two sets of the parts so that means you need to print the idler A twice and the idler B which is the one here with the raised segment twice and you're going to need to print two of these tensioners and the tensioners are actually mirrored uh, to account for the fact that the assembly will be mirrored. So you're going to need to print one of each of these files, essentially. They look very similar, but once you get to assembly, you'll notice the little differences. Uh, for hardware, we've got an M5 by 40 screw. You've got an M5 nut. M5 washers. You're going to need two of those per idler tensioner mechanism uh, and you're going to need two 695 flanged bearings so these bearings have a little flange on them and that's going to come in handy with holding the belt in place you're also going to need an m3 washer for tools you are going to need two screwdrivers or one screwdriver and two bits this is a 2.5 millimeter screwdriver it's a hex head and you're going to need a four millimeter screwdriver or bit so now in my case I've already installed the heat set inserts I'm going to show you a quick clip of how to do that just now and the real trick with this is just gently applying pressure with a preheated soldering iron so that it just goes in and you don't have to worry about it getting lopsided or melting too much plastic or what have you. So obviously for these parts, the hardware, I should clarify, they are duplicated for the second tensioner idler combo. So let's get started with the assembly in earnest. How we're gonna do that is we are going to take this M5 screw, put it through the slot here and then the next step will be to put a bearing, or sorry, a washer on there, getting ahead of myself. Now we put the bearing on, and we're gonna do that with the flange facing down. So the flange is the raised part, the wider part. Next, we are going to do another bearing with the flange facing upwards. This will create a nice little channel in the bearings to hold the belt in place. Next, we're going to put the final M5 washer in here. And we are going to take the B part of the idler body and press that on there like so. It should press fit. In my case, there's a small gap, but that's just because I didn't tune my filament quite as well as I should have. It shouldn't affect its functionality at all. One thing you may want to do is just go with a file or a craft knife and trim out a bit of plastic here on the sliders if you find, or in these gaps, uh, slots, I should say, if you're finding that you can't slide this assembly very easily. It should move fairly freely, ideally. I didn't mean to rhyme there. <laughs> so the next step is, and this is my personal uh, step, I've seen other people do the same thing. You're just going to set this down with the knot, with the head facing up of the screw. That way you can just push and get the screw out without disturbing the bearing stack in there. Next you're going to take the tensioner and with the tensioner, because they are mirrored, you just have to find the correct alignment and that is essentially matching up the hole with the holes on the uh, idler body. So in this case, that's downwards. And 
we are going to gently slide this over. Now, if I did this well, there should be no real issues getting the screw through. Unfortunately, it looks as though I have horribly failed. So let's try that again. And this is one of those things that it will be a little fussy. That's just life. It's not impossible. It's just a little fussy. And it's better that these come in two pieces than a single unibody print because this would be even more difficult to adjust if it were a unibody print because can you imagine having to slide those bearings in and the washers and just get everything in there with the screw and aligned it would be a nightmare so here i'll show you just to clarify what i mean by getting the tensioner aligned with this so the tensioner in this case the pass through where the heat set insert is is on the bottom and so is the hole here and there's a little thing at the end here just to catch the screw and what we are going to do is slide this down pop this on I know I'm doing this different from last time actually you know what this has been a bad idea let's do this let's just gently pull this out and try not to disturb the bearing stack as I'm doing it so pull it as straight up as you can next we go in and I've made a terrible mistake by putting this upside down I realize this is probably going to backfire on me yet again but why not try and would you look at that it actually worked screw went through you can see right there now we are going to set the m5 nut in there you can just press it down it'll push the screw out a little bit and then you take that four millimeter driver and hold your finger over the nut and just tighten this should be snug but not too snug you want this to be able to move back and forth fairly freely and you can always work this in a little bit if you want if you find that it sticks in spots you can just slide it back and forth and it'll work the plastic the screw will act as a file to a certain extent um, obviously you shouldn't have too much resistance now for the final step we are going to take the washer here set it right over that hole and we're going to put the m3 by 40 screw through and I just like to start the screw with my fingers and now it's in there you can see that the screw is just poking out just a little bit and I personally like to then just put this in there get it to the point where the tip of the screw is seated on this end there's that little pocket I was talking about before get the pocket seated and then once it's there we just tighten this and this is how the tensioning mechanism works essentially you're using this screw as a lead screw and that heat set insert as a lead nut and yeah under tension you don't have to worry about this screw moving because it's going to be the belts will be holding this backwards in this like applying force in this direction so then you just have to worry about tightening you don't have to worry about when you loosening when you loosen it about it coming out and yeah as you can see it moves fairly freely no real resistance and to do the other idler tensioner combo you would just repeat the same steps obviously it's going to be mirrored because here you can see the screw heads are on the top and the nuts are on the bottom and vice versa for the the tensioning screws so i hope that this was helpful if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments below and as always thank you for watching 
and I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.